Welcome back to Boston. Cheers, bud. Good to, Good see, to you. see you. Do you have uh, Do you have any adventures in Boston stories you'd like to share with us? Oh. Uh, at Christmas, when I was here for a different thing, um, we we just went for a, we just went for a walk. Like at any time I've been in cities like this before, I'd never really had a proper look around. Although my co one of my cousins is from um, Methuen. Oh really? Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So I spent a bit of time when I, here when I was a kid and I had a look around, but I came went back. I had a look at the. I just kind of wanted to send photos to my dad because it's a walking yeah. city. Boston's a walking town. Oh yeah, let me stand up. Don't need really to rent a car. You can get everywhere. Yeah, it's a great spot. Uh, did you uh, Did you happen to hit any of the Irish pubs? We're uh, famous for Irish pubs. Well, I just town. we just went for a walk down by the water, and I'd been to the aquarium when I was a kid, so I was just kind of like trying to remember where that was, and then f went into a, a pub. I think it was called. I think it was called Divines. Ned Divines. Ned Divines. Ned Divines. Ned Divines. Yeah. Big room. Yeah. Faneuil Hall. Apparently it has the best clam chowder in Boston, 2013. <laughs> Not bad. No. Did it? Did it really? Yeah. Did yeah. Apparently it? so, yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't eat it, but apparently it's so I don't know. I was drinking instead. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. Glad to have you back yeah, here. Thanks. So uh, things are going really well for you. You're in one of the, uh, were in one of the biggest bands in the world, and yeah. you're transitioning to a, a solo career. How is that going? I mean, it's, uh, is it daunting? There's a lot to that, I would assume. Yeah, it was. Oh, it's obviously a lot different, um, but it's been. That's. I've really enjoyed it. Actually, it's. Um, I've got to. T I think what's been on my side is time. I've because I didn't put any time line on it at all. So I was just kind of like I told. I said to my manager and I said it to my label when they signed me. They'd heard a couple of songs when they signed me, but they were like, I was like, give me time. I'll kind of let you know when I'm finished. Cool. Um, which was great. So they were okay with that. They were like, all right, take your time. Yeah, and, uh, get and it, I just get went it right. To, I went into the studio and. Just kept, er, <clears throat> sorry, kept writing and writing, and I'm finished now. But, but how, does it, uh, <laughs> how does that work, though? Because now you don't have your, your mates with you, so it's, everything falls on you now. Yeah. This, for example, mm. you know, we're asking you the questions. It's not like we can deflect other people. Yeah, yeah. You're putting a band together, all that stuff comes into play. Yeah, honestly, that's, that, they're the kind of things that people wouldn't even think about. You know. how, how do you do yeah. You call someone, hey, you want to be yeah, in a band? Or? Well, it, tur it turned out that Jerry is a good friend of mine and he's now my musical director the guy who was just here and he played he played drums with, with James Bay for the last few years he was at our Not So Silent Night at I House remember. of Blues in December yeah I okay. knew yeah, yeah. Jerry looked familiar to yeah, there me you yeah go. definitely oh, I, I think I so spent the all... holidays with Jerry <laughs> So, so you, what did you text Jerry and go hey yeah you know. he, he said to me I think James is doing his album making his album or something at the minute so he was just like I'm free if you're making a band give me a shout so I gave him a shout and um, we put a band together and yeah, so we've just, it's things like that have just been most fun. You know, being in the studio, playing with a live band for under tracks and stuff has even been more fun. And just, I think, you know, we probably would have done that with One Direction, but we didn't, we don't have, we didn't have time. Mm -hmm. We were touring as we were making albums, so. And it happened so fast for you there. Yeah. So I think this pace is probably a little better yeah. for the it's, artist in you. It suits, it suits me, don't yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Because I'm very chilled out. And Can I, now, what if none of this occurred. What was your plan B? What would Niall be doing had he not gone on that show and been in that band and whatever? What would you be doing? I, to be honest, probably nothing. <laughs> well, you I, golf, right? Maybe you might have been a, yeah, a golfer, no? I wouldn't have been good enough to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, don't, I don't really know. It's, uh, music's all I've known, so Lucky I, you. I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know the answers. I, I do have to ask you that, though. Just uh, being in that band, you know, one of the biggest bands in the world, what was it like? I just want to live vicariously through you for a moment here. What was it like to be in that moment, in that situation? I know, as you said, it, it all happened so fast that we were, we were just... Head spinning and you just really didn't... I don't know. We were just going along with it and having, having a, a great time. We, we, were, we started when we were like... I was 16 when I auditioned, so, you know, I was, we were only kids. So we were just like being at school, to be honest. Apart from we just used to go on TV every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. But we always used to, I think why people used to like, people like us because they could see that we were just, we were literally that. We were, you know, Regular four or five guys. school guys just messing around. And um, yeah, and they've seen that. So I think that was, that was the appeal to it. And we always used to like, just be blown away by everything. So that, uh, we called one of our tours, Where We Are Tour, because we used to just walk around going, look, wow. look where we are. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you couldn't imagine that you were there, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, surreal. Surreal. I don't know. It was, we, we always, I always used to try and look at it from what it would look like from the outside. Mm -hmm. You know, because we were going so crazy, it was so crazy. I would always think to myself, 
I wonder what this looks like from the outside. Because <laughs> it, it was pretty crazy inside. Yeah, surreal, so I'm sure. It must yeah. look pretty mad from, from the outside. But, but yeah, it's good it, fun. And it continues, too, because I saw you on the Today Show the other morning, and people were lined up overnight in the rain. Oh, sure. Waiting for you. You, were there, you guys were there? Saturday. Saturday. You showed up on the weekend? And you played Monday, right? Wow. You, you stayed from Saturday to Monday? Holy moly. We may need security. Christ on right. <laughs> we may need security. Keep an eye. So have, you, have you still got hypothermia? Because <laughs> I got... What was it? So was... were you outside the whole time? For, for what, 48 hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what they do, like swap. You go first. Yeah. <laughs> had to keep your place in line. Smart, right? though. Well, thanks. Good planning. Well, thank you. Was, but, you know what was weird about that? I was like, people were saying, oh, the, there's people who've been there since Saturday. Blah, blah, blah. And then I just well, I went to sound check and I s spoke to the girl in the front row. Bear in mind, it's 6.30 a.m. And she just turned and I said, when did you get here? She goes, I got here about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, what? Oh, what happened to the people that were here on Saturday? Where are they? <laughs> oh, boy. This could go into a whole nother thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. that, That's right? a shame. But you were near the front, no? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies. He appreciates that. He really does. He <laughs> definitely does. We do too. Them. Let me ask you, who would you wait two days in line to see? Is Absolutely no one. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's uh, chat about the, uh, the new album. You're working on it. We don't have a title yet. We don't have a date yet, right? Is that correct? Pretty no, I'm, I'm coming up with all that kind of stuff now. I just, um, as I said, I'm taking my time, but I'm going to be doing a lot of like promo for this, for Slow Hands around the world now. Sure. So I'm going back to the UK in the next few days and, and then take a couple of chill days and then it's going to be all cra crazy around Europe and, and everywhere. Now it's all written, you said? Yeah, just, I just have some production stuff to sit down with a producer and mixer and all that stuff that no one So it's coming about. soon. It's so I'll, I'll have it, like when, when that promo's done, it'll probably, that'll probably take me till up until like September. So I'm, I'm hoping like October, take November, summer, somewhere like that. Yeah, Is there a title? Do we have a, a, a name or? No, not yet. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you now. Okay, okay, good. Because I'd ruin it for everyone. Is there, is there kind of like an unsaid competition between you and the other guys from 1D? No. No, Ooh. with, the, with the, the music coming out? Like, no, nothing? Just kind of doing your own thing? No, we don't, we don't care about that kind of stuff. It, it seems that's the beauty. It, it's always the case. Yeah, exactly. It's always the case. Everyone seems to care more than we do. Yeah. We, like, we're just laughing at everyone. It's good fun. Yeah, but you, it's, it's you, great. You wish the best for each other, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's all you can do. We talk every day, most days, and they're releasing songs. and Beautiful. Yeah, there's some good stuff coming.